everyone. Welcome back to Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. My name is Stacy. Today I have this cute little farmhouse basket redo project for you. I'm starting with an old bushel, apple bushel basket that came from the Target dollar spot several years ago. It was an Easter basket. I have used it for so many things over the years that it's just starting to show its age. And so I thought I'd give it a little farmhouse spruce up. So what I'm doing is using Waverly chalk paint that I got at Walmart in just basic white. And I'm dry brushing it all over the entire basket. And then I'm giving the top edge and that top band and the handle a good solid coat, not just dry brushing that. Because I figured those are the areas that are going to be handled the most and they just need to be a little bit more protected. So once you get it um, painted, let it dry for about an hour and then we'll come back and decorate the fun stuff. Okay, I'm back. The basket has had about an hour to dry. And as you can see, I did not put a thick coat. I did coat the handle really well but I did not coat the whole basket. I did coat the inner rim, but not the inside of the basket. Okay, so it's just real shabby chic kind of messy. So the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to add um, the words, count your many blessings, and I'm gonna do that with Scrabble tiles. So I have those all laid out. And I put the handle up and decided where my center was, which I figured was right about here. So I made a mark just a little bit to the side. And um, the center is going to be the space in between your and many. So I'm going to work from the R backwards on the word your. Put a little bit of glue. I'm just using hot glue. This is wood to wood pretty much. So you could use wood glue if you wanted. That would work out absolutely fine. And I'm just gluing that on. I'm starting with the first word right around this band. I was going to use the letters from the Dollar Tree, the little wooden letters, but I got to thinking that those might be too big and not be able to make the bend around the basket, so I got the idea of Scrabble letters. So I'm going to put the glue on the M, and I'm just going to grab another letter to use as a spacer because I want my letters to line up. So I'm using the C as a spacer and then I'm pulling it out. So now the word count is going to get centered up above and it's going to be not quite as high up as the other because it's the other parts on this band. That's okay. I'm just going to have to make it work. Count your many, and then I've got blessings. So I'm just going to find the center of the word blessings, and it's this S, and so it's going to land right here under the space, and it's going to be, should be exactly the same length as the your many. My blessings got a little crooked, but isn't that cute? Count your many blessings. Now, our thrift store will often take a bunch of old little girl headbands and whatnot and put them in a bag for a couple of bucks. And when I see those, I buy them because they're always full of cute little things like this, okay? And little flowers that you can use on things. So I always go through, cut off the cute stuff, and throw the rest away. And I'm thinking this might look kind of cute on here but maybe just one instead of the little one or maybe both of them up top it needs like a little burlap bow underneath there there it is okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to wrap it around my fingers loosely five or six times Cut it off, bunch it together, kind of make a little bow type thing with it, and kind of use it to be a leaf, a little burlap leaf. So I'm putting my burlap down like so, and then I'm experimenting right now. I haven't glued anything on. Oh, that looks really cute. 
and a little bit farther back. Maybe just the one. I really like that. And it's going to cover my broken piece of the basket, too. So I'm going to put a fair amount of glue right here. And I'm going to put my twine loops here. Ouch. And then I'm going to take my big flower, put it over the top so that I don't burn my fingers while I'm doing this. And I'm just going to kind of twist up the twine loops. How cute is that? I am loving that right now. I was going to put both flowers on, but I think that's too much. So I think I'm just going to stop right there and call this craft done. Count your many blessings. I think it's adorable. It's going to go in my guest, one of my guest bathrooms, my downstairs basement bathroom, to hold toilet paper and washcloths and stuff like that. So anyway, I think that's really cute. Sorry, I'm getting it out of frame there. So keep an eye at your thrift stores for little bags of, or big bags of little girls' headbands and things and try to get all these cute little flowers out of it. You'll be a happy camper. I'm sure you can make these because these are just ribbon roses and I need to learn how to do that and I'll come and show you how to do that. Isn't that cute? Count your many blessings. All right, that will do it for this craft. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.